Case plaintiff required from the court in regards to the interim injunction, which was to last for seven days only, but was meant to have naturally expired today, and asked for extension for same, depending on the hearing and examination of the application. Against this application for extension of the interim injunction, so he Esquire objected that the court cannot now give any order in this matter, since uh, there is now an objection questioning the right of the court to hear and determine such matter filed under the civil and general division of the High Court, when it should be filed at the fast track commercial and admiralty division. So he referred the court to the case of Dangote and others, where it was held that once a jurisdictional objection on the right of a court to hear and determine an action that has been raised, the court has no power to do anything or make any order to whatever effect without first resolving the jurisdictional question. It is against this backdrop that I, Suvi Esquire, urged the court not to extend the expired seven days injunction which had been granted on ex parte motion last Monday, 22nd July 2024. Despite the authority cited and submission made by counsel for the defendant, the judge proceeded to extend the interim injunction to further seven days. I, Kane, representing the plaintiff, Sri Lumba Association, and Tumaja B, replied on the jurisdictional and procedural objection taken by Jones Esquire. Council for First Defendant Augustine Sulisi Mara and adopted a respective council for the other six defendants. I can agree in a submission that there were possibilities of irregularities on the activities of the two at the AGM, but however, submitted that the originating summon is the proper vehicle to institute the action against the defendant, citing Order 5, Sub Rule 4, Rule 2 of the High Court Rules of 2007. He proceeded in a submission what transpired in Kenemba on the 18th day of May 2024, to which Jones objected on the basis that counsel representing the first defendant and other counsel have raised jurisdictional and procedural objection, which are on point of law to which only counsel for the plaintiffs ought to reply and cannot go into fact of evidence on the 18th May 2024. Jones' objection was upheld and the presiding judge directed counsel for plaintiff Icane to only mention the issues but not to delve into the effect. Sheikh Mohammed 